everybody and welcome back to yet another review and to my first Mini Racers 3-pack review of 2023. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Salt Flats Mini Racers 3-pack, part of the first wave of Mini Racer 3-packs from 2023. Took me quite a while to find any of these, but I'm glad I finally found a few of them. This one and then some of the Wave 2 3-packs. This pack, of course, is based on Cars on the Road and it includes Super Speed Mater, who's exclusive to the pack, Dats Jammin, now, Dats is not exclusive to the pack. He's also available in the blind boxes, but since I don't usually find the blind boxes in my stores, this is my first time getting Dats. And finally, it also just comes with a regular old Road Trip McQueen. Now, this year they changed up the packaging on the Mini Racers 3 packs. This card back style has been used for the On the Road ones since last year, uh, but they actually changed up the blister. In the past, you would have one mini on the left side and two on the right. Now they've changed it so you have one on top and two on the bottom. It looks kind of weird to me because I'm so used to the old style, but it really does make me wonder why, why didn't they format them like this before. It makes a lot more sense. Also, the blister is a little different. It's a bit more like the form-fitting blisters that we see on the regular Cars diecasts now, complete with this weird sort of popping out part that's just kind of unnecessary extra plastic but whatever <laughs> moving on to the back you can see super speed mater highlighted in blue since he is a new release this almost looks like a squished picture which is pretty funny and honestly i really miss when they would highlight which mini in the pack was new and blue on the front now you only see it on the back and doesn't even label it as new we also have road trip lightning mcqueen and finally that's jamming over there now let's get these three guys out of the package i believe that uh these three packs are still the only way to get yourself a non-metallic um, Road Trip McQueen Mini Racer, I believe. Oh, this is interesting. Mater has a, an additional sheet of plastic holding him in. They've done this sometimes. Oh, wait, actually. Huh. They all do. Look at this. There's an additional sheet of plastic here. So, like I said, just, just sort of unnecessary additional packaging i think it was better how it was before but whatever now we got all three of these guys out of the package we'll start off by taking a look at mcqueen again this is the same road trip mcqueen that came out last year easily one of my favorite mini racer mcqueens i absolutely love that expression i believe it's the same expression as the uh dirt track radiator springs mcqueen which is easily my favorite mcqueen mini racer i think so yeah at this point I've reviewed so many pieces of generic Road Trip McQueen merchandise. You've seen this guy before. I took a closer look at him in my Ivy 3-pack review. But, again, uh, this is his second 3-pack appearance. And if you get a Road Trip McQueen in the blind boxes, you're only going to be getting a metallic one. Because this guy isn't in the boxes yet, I don't believe. Unless he is by now, I'm not too sure. Anyway, up next, I guess we'll take a look at Dat's Gem in here. Who's <laughs> such a great translation of his regular die cast. He's one of those times where they really just took the regular die cast and they shrunk them down. They actually gave him a unique expression. He's got more of a determined face, whereas this one looks a little bit more like relaxed and casual. He's got the number eight there on his hood. He's got the same great sort of bare metal uh, paint job that the regular Dats Jammin has. The paint work on Dats Jammin is so impressive, making him look like an unpainted car. It's really, really cool. We've got the number eight there. We, of course, have his parachute on the back, and just like the regular diecast, this back part is plastic, so there is a bit of inconsistency in the color, but I think the color on the back of this one uh, matches the rest a bit better than it does here. Um, and yeah, we got the parachute, all your typical Dats Jammin' details. There's a look at the other side, and yes, the Mini Racers are doing the whole salt flats, white tires thing as well. Does Super Speed Mater have that? Hey, he does! Okay. At least they're being consistent, right? So, once again, the Mini Racers have beaten Mattel to making a car. This time, it's Super Speed Mater. Last time, it was Ivy. Due to Mattel having difficulties making deluxes right now, um, yeah, uh, the, the Mini Racers don't really have that problem. Now, I'm just going to start off by saying I think this is a pretty good Mini Racers Mater face. I'm really not the biggest fan. I should have gotten my Mater before filming really not the biggest fan of the regular mini racers mater face um but i brought him here because i wanted to see if this is just a regular mater front with this whole plastic assembly and it's not uh 
This is actually quite a bit smaller than the front of regular Mater. You can see he's kind of been shrunken down a little bit just to fit the typical proportions of a mini racer. He still is a pretty big mini. He also doesn't have a matte paint job, which all mini racer Maters uh, have tended to have. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, you can just see looking at him, he does have sort of a glossy paint job, but yeah, I think he's got a pretty good face. And we, of course, have the hood there and all the different super speed Mater details that you would expect. Uh, interesting with the headlight being painted a bit differently than usual. And speaking of lights, I don't know if this is a mistake or not. When Mater gets the super speed upgrades, do they fix his missing headlight? I don't think so, because they painted in all four of his headlights here. Or his roof lights, rather. That's a little strange, but okay. Moving on to the side. He's so, like, back heavy. You could easily sort of tip him over. Look at that. I wonder how much of this is metal. I think just Mater's sort of cab here is, whoa, 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 hey, Mater, man, stop moving. What is, this is so weird, guy. <laughs> okay, that's not supposed to happen, but I think just this part of Mater is metal. This whole assembly, you could just tell, uh, is all plastic, I believe, or at least it's mostly plastic. Um, actually, it looks like this top half of it is metal it seems the top half is metal and then the bottom half of it is plastic you'd actually see the seam line there where it switches from metal to plastic i might be wrong but i believe that's what they did got some i believe japanese characters on the side probably something uh regarding nariyuki got the number 55 and the phrase i am land speed which is such a funny detail we also have the logo for nariyuki's race team there there's a look at the back there is a look at the other side, and finally, there is a look at the base. A very impressive Mini. Once again, the Mini Racers have pulled off something that you might not expect them to pull off well. Yeah, they had to shrink Mater down a little bit, but I don't need to, like, there's no point in complaining about that. I don't think it's an issue at all. I think it's a pretty impressive Mini. Dats Jammin is also a pretty impressive Mini. McQueen is also there. I I've reviewed him before, there's not much to say. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Let's get these three together. Bye now. Also, Mini Nuri Yuki, when? Like, come on, that'd be a great idea.